gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello, my stars. Welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It's your girl, Karen, and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know, guys, this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be reversed or interchangeable, so apply your yourself as you see fit don't forget if this reading does resonate don't forget to support your girl by clicking like share subscribe and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live this reading will not have an extended this is going to be you versus them heart to heart so we're gonna go ahead and channel the energy but before we do I just have a quick announcement there is a new quick reference guide or cheat sheet available now okay so I always get in my emails the people wanting me to decipher or give them the meanings of readings that they're doing for themselves at home so I created a very detailed cheat sheet or a quick reference tarot guide for you guys it's going to give you all the definitions of the major arcanas it's going to give you all the definitions or keywords I should say for your minor arcanas. It's even gonna tell you the meaning in astrology for each major arcana. It also comes with the keyword meanings. It comes with the elements that's associated with the major arcanas, the star signs, everything that you need to help you on your new tarot journey, or if you are already experienced, but you want more meanings for the words, there's definitely more details on this sheet than I've seen on any tarot cheat sheet. So this sheet is actually really affordable. It's on my website. Website and it's also too on Gumroad. So the links is in the description box below if you want to access this cheat sheet guide for yourself. And it's also on the community tab. There's also a bonus tarot spread sheet available as well with this guide it's included so it has the spread that i'm doing right now available for you and it even has the extended if you're wanting to start your own tarot channel so let's get into your reading all right what is the energy here between aquarius and their person all right beautiful we have the heart chakra coming through for your person so far so in your person's energy this is telling me this is someone here who seeks long-term security in a situation as far as the heart goes and i feel like this person is someone here who's either maybe either having a blockage in their heart chakra or is open to love or is open to how they truly feel but we're going to dive a little bit deeper bottom of the deck was the throat chakra energy so it's something to do with communicating or expressing their true desires here is the energy overall okay maybe not communicating or wanting to communicate how they truly feel so let's see what's in your energy what is in the energy of Aquarius okay that fell right out on the table we have third eye chakra coming through here for you with new vitality i'm gonna take them both okay so what this is telling me this speaks of clarity aquarius this energy is telling me it's almost as if you know exactly what it is that you want and you're going after it this new vitality energy speaks of new beginnings whether it's in love career money whatever the case may be but we're gonna get to the bottom of it that's for sure <laughs> but it's telling me here you're ready for new beginnings whether it's with this person or you're just ready to move on and seek new prosperities elsewhere okay this third eye chakra is about you being awakened you know knowing exactly what you want and going after the things that truly is going to make you happy going to make you feel inspired that's the energy that is surrounding you here okay the bottom of the deck we have the nine of cups this uh, for your energy so this is letting me know here that this is about you being content in your life or at least wanting to be content in your life this is about going after your dreams and making your wishes and your desires come true here Aquarius so you're starting this reading off really big Aquarius so let's go ahead and see what's going on what is the energy here for Aquarius and their person let's see what is the energy here for Aquarius and their person? How is Aquarius person feeling about Aquarius? What is an Aquarius person's current energy? Let's see. What is an Aquarius person's current energy? Let's see. Thank you. All right. So for your person, they got the double card with the hangman energy. They have the seven of swords with the page of wands. 
they got the king of cups with the seven of wands in their energy okay bottom of the deck for them overall is the high priestess okay so let's see what's in your energy aquarius now it's making sense why you have the energies that you do aquarius so let's see what's going on for you what is in the energy here for aquarius how is aquarius feeling for their person how is aquarius feeling about this person let's see all right so aquarius you have the hermit card with the queen of wands you also have the eight of swords with the nine of pentacles you have the tower card with the five of wands bottom of the deck for you is the hierophant Ooh. okay so you guys are definitely spiritually paired okay, let me say this the overall energy for you is the for you is the hierophant and the overall energy for your person is the high priestess those two energies go hand in hand okay so i do feel like there is soulmate energy here or there is some type of soul tie spiritual connection here surrounding the two of you it's almost like your spirit guides brought you two together because there was some major lessons here for the both of you to learn okay so let's get into your person's overall energy it's the heart chakra and the high priestess energy i feel like this person is definitely learning some very important lessons but i also feel like this person comes with mystery you know a little bit of hidden secrets here you know almost as if this person's keeping some things from you but i feel like this is making this person a little bit wiser and putting this person in an energy where they're making better and healthier choices is what i'm seeing so i do feel like this is someone who needs to open up their heart chakras and show more compassion in the situation maybe this person is a little bit reserved because of some things that they've been through within their own life which is keeping this person's walls up the high priestess energy is someone who has a lot of emotions but just not opening up emotionally and expressing these emotions with people this could be someone who's very intuitive as well very strongly a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but very intuitive energy okay or this person has an empath and can read people's energies very very well so we have the high priestess and i'm also being told this is someone who needs to follow their intuition so this person's current energy is the double card with the hangman in this person's energy i do feel like this person is a little bit reserved or is holding back from you it could be because this person finds this relationship to be very toxic or this person realizes that they're very toxic here with this double energy the double card speaks of like someone who is dealing with addictions it could even be depression it could be codependency energy or just feeling strongly connected with you here this energy also represents cheating as well okay or going through some type of mental situation that they need to clarify within themselves it could even mean just hiding their true feelings for you okay without clarifying further but with the hangman energy i do feel like this is and with the hangman energy i do feel like this is someone here who is you know maybe feeling a little uncertain about this relationship here going forward with you i also feel like this is someone here who may be feeling like they need to let go in some way shape or form here okay but they're still hanging on to you in a way energetically here it's almost like a very controlling type of energy that i'm seeing coming across coming across from your person now we have the seven of swords and the page of wands as far as how they feel about you i feel like this person feels like you're moving on it's almost as if you're tired of the immaturity of this person or you're tired of the way that this person you know treated you here with this seven of swords energy which speaks of lies deceit theft manipulation you know running away from their problems it could even mean divorce or affairs here so i do feel like with this page of wands they feel like you're moving forward because of all the deception that took place and you're just taking you know all that transpired here in the connection between the two of you and moving on okay because i see these two people looking in opposite directions okay one is looking back but the other one is looking towards what's next for me the page of wands speaks of like you know someone who is trying to find their passion again this is a young person who is just searching for whatever their heart desires here in their energy too they may be feeling like you're with someone else as well okay so i do want to put that out there as well they may be feeling like you're with someone else or maybe you're not being honest about you know what you're doing okay you may have a sneaky link so they may feel this way about you 
Now, as far as their actions towards you, I'm not seeing this person take, taking any type of action, okay? The King of Cups is someone who's very reserved with their emotions. They feel a lot. They have a lot going on, okay, emotionally. But as far as letting you know about it, mm -mm, they're not opening up. This Seven of Wands energy is telling me this person is standing their ground, whether it's, is, whether it's them standing in their truth or not, they are holding back and it could be due to the fact that maybe there was a lot of blame game here in the situation maybe this person's playing victim but they feel like they need to hold back their energy from you for whatever the reason is okay in this situation but there's a lot of toxic energy coming through here okay with the hangman the devil and the seven of swords very toxic energy is what i'm seeing as far as like some things taking place in this connection between the two of you that just didn't sit right with either the both of you or one or the other here okay but we're going to get to the bottom of it but overall this person is emotionally di disconnected you could have been married to this person with the the king of cups energy or have children with this person the king of cups is someone who makes a good husband or someone here who's a good partner in life things of that nature very family oriented very affectionate okay maybe even a little naive here as well okay this person comes across as a dreamer that kind of energy is what i'm seeing here okay again capricorn water energy pisces cancer scorpio coming through on your person's side so let's move over into your energy so you have the ace of wands the third eye chakra and the hierophant card energy i feel like you're just ready for what's right Aquarius in your energy you're ready for commitment you're ready for new beginnings I feel like in this energy is telling me you've learned your lesson here for some of you this looks like you know opening up to spirituality for some of you this looks like going giving yourself to God and going to church for some of you this looks like going back to school but it's telling me overall you've learned your lesson and you are moving forward <laughs> okay this is the energy that you have surrounding you as your overall new vitality third eye and the hierophant card very strong energy of like learning your lesson and feeling like you need to change paths here especially spiritually okay so in your current energy you have the hermit and the queen of wands yeah this is about you holding back okay Aquarius this hermit card energy speaks of spiritual enlightenment soul searching you know needing space being in solitude you know even wondering if something is right or wrong for you with the queen of wands energy I love it this is about you stepping into your sensuality this is about you being vivacious this is about you being passionate this is about you taking charge in your life you know and nurturing new beginnings is what I'm seeing here so you're very attractive and you're going after the things that you feel you deserve and you you desire here in your life now as far as like what you want from this person or how you feel about this person you have the eight of swords with the nine of pentacles I feel like there's a little bit of stuck energy here Aquarius with this eight of swords maybe even thinking about this person a little bit here from time to time with this eight of swords but it's telling me even though you may be you're single and you're working on yourself here this energy speaks of building better wealth for yourself being self-sufficient in finances this speaks of just enjoying your life overall and I, I, I see you here Aquarius sitting very pretty with this nine of pentacles just working on yourself and enjoying the fruits of your labor here eight of swords is telling me that you know you are thinking about this person a little bit from time to time maybe even feeling a little bit in prison by this situation but I feel like you are working on yourself and trying to maneuver out of this situation and move forward with your life as far as how you see things going or what you're wanting from this is the the tower card with the five of wands I feel like you're just over it at this point Okay, the tower card speaks of unexpected things taking place. It could be um, chaos in the connection. It could be divorce, separation happening here for you. You know, secrets coming to light, which could have caused a lot of confusion here in the situation with you. Five of Wands speaks of, you know, competition, but also to overcoming challenges in a connection. It could even mean the rival here as well, but in a lot of discord as far as fighting, arguing, not getting along because of some unexpected changes that took place in this connection. So in your mind, Aquarius, I feel like you may be feeling like you've been through a lot with this person and you're just trying to find your ground here is what I'm seeing. So let's see what's going on because there's a lot going on in the situation between the two of you. So let's see. What is the energy here for Aquarius dealing with their person? On your side of things, there's Virgo energy. There's also fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So let's see. The Hierophant card, Taurus energy. 
What's the energy here for Aquarius and this person? Give me three cards. What is the energy here mutually here for Aquarius and their person? Give me three cards. Let's see what comes out. What's the energy here? Thank you. All right. So the first card we have is Knights Out. The second card we have fooling both of you. Interesting energy, Aquarius. I just saw the divine intervention card. So it's telling me here that the divine had to intervene. Keep in mind, sometimes the universe is so funny in that way. They will make someone or allow someone, I should say, to continuously hurt you until you wake up and you realize that this person is just not for you. There's something better on your path, but this person is literally a block in your way to get you to where you need to be. So they will continuously allow this person to continuously break you down so that you can overcome that hall to get to your blessings, okay? Let's see what else was coming through here. We have ladies, man, and at the bottom of the deck, we have guarded. So let's go over these mutual energies that's coming through for you in this reading. So we have nights out. It says late or last minute cancellations up to no good with third party working longer hours. So for some of you here, this is someone who likes to get out in the world, who likes to party, who likes to put themselves out there, who's a ladies man, a chick magnet, or vice versa, take it as it resonates. But this is someone who came up with a lot of excuses as to why they couldn't spend time with you in the evenings, okay? So this is someone here who played the game and played the game very, very well, okay? We also have fooling both of you, dishonest to both, selfish intentions, wants their cake and eat it too. So this is someone who had someone else, and this is why we have the high priestess. This energy speaks of secrets, not telling you the truth, someone who's very mysterious, and this is what is in this person's energy. This person's heart is not pure. This is someone who needed to show more compassion in the relationship and didn't. So this is someone here who like to have their cake and eat it too. Very strong energies of someone who has other people involved in the connection. Okay. Third party energy is just playing the field, not serious about anyone, not ready to commit. So this is definitely someone who is not who you thought they were. Okay. They played a good game. Okay. Is what's coming through. And then we have guarded. It says resistant connection. Their guard is up trying not to fall in love. So I feel like this is your energy Aquarius where you became very guarded towards the situation after the cat came out the bag. You finding out the truth about who you were dealing with, this person's true colors started to shine bright. And I feel like this is what caused you to say to yourself, you know what, I need to do what's best for me and I need to move forward. However, I do feel like you think about this from time to time on how this person deceived you here in this connection, okay? So let's get some more messages to see what else is coming through in this reading for the both of you let's use this deck what is the energy here for Aquarius and their person what is the energy here for Aquarius and their person what is the energy here for Aquarius thank you we have it's coming through look at that love yourself first it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and I'm seeing this in your energy Aquarius as far as like protecting yourself guarding yourself here you know just doing what feels right and this is why we had the high priestess and the Hierophant card I feel like the divine intervened in this connection between the two of you and put you on a different path here yeah we have keep an open mind it says your soul may May, may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like this is your spirit guide telling you to be open to a variety, okay? If you were someone who had tunnel vision and you only dated a certain type of person, they're telling you to keep an open mind to love, all right? Because the person who's truly meant for you may be a little bit different than the one that you're used to, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I do feel like this is about you moving forward. I do feel like this could have been a little bit of a one-sided relationship. This is what this energy represents. And I feel like this is why you're a little bit guarded. And I feel like this is your spirit guides being very plain as day with you and telling you, hey, this is just not it, but to each his own. Bottom of the deck again is stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and fate will bring you romance. So be a, a little open to romance, trust, and have faith that the spirit angels and your spirit guides are going to bring you a blessing blessing in love. Okay. I feel like this person was just a block in your way and keeping you from your true husband or your true wife or someone that you truly connect with on a soul level. Okay. So let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice. What is the advice here for Aquarius dealing with this person? What is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? Let's see. 
What is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? Thank you. We have surrender. It says do it for yourself. And the bottom of the deck is villain. You can always rewrite the story. So I feel like your spirit angels is telling you here that it's okay to go through some things, but you have to take control over your life and do what you feel is most right. If you're not doing it for anyone else, do it for yourself at the end of the day. Then we have villain. You can always rewrite your story. You are the narrator of your life, period. Okay. If you want change, you have to be the change of your story. No one can write your story, but you. So this is pretty much clear as day Aquarius. If you're in stuck er energy, this now is the time for you to move forward and no longer have this energy lingering in your aura. All right, my stars, thank you so much for joining me in another reading. And don't forget, get your life, go get your tarot guide. All right. Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply